We've all experienced the pressure to live up to other people's expectations. We're going through our lives, in our families, at work, in our communities, believing that we're not enough. And the feeling of failure when we fall short. Perfection is this idea or belief that if we look perfect, live perfect, and do it perfectly, that we can avoid or minimize feelings of shame, blame, and judgment. Dr. Brene Brown is a nationally renowned speaker and researcher who has spent the last 10 years studying connection. We are cognitively, emotionally, physically, I would argue spiritually, hardwired to experience love and belonging. And when we don't, we break. She shares her insights into being enough in the gifts of imperfection. Here's Dr. Brene Brown. So one of the things that we do in our personal lives is we try to combat not being enough by pleasing and performing and perfecting. We go through our lives trying to be who we think we're supposed to be, doing and saying what we think people want to hear, putting on whatever mask or face we think we need to put on for that moment. And what that leaves us is exhausted. When we're pleasing and perfecting and performing, we end up saying yes a lot when we mean no, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we also end up saying no when we mean, oh, heck yes, I want to do that. I, I really want to do that. And you know what? Even though I have a lot of work, I want to do it now. I don't want to do it five pounds from now. <laughs> I don't want to do it when I'm great. I don't want to do it when I've practiced. I just want to do it now. But we, don't, but, but we don't have those boundaries when we don't feel like we're worthy and enough. I have this ring, I don't know if you can see it, it's got these little spinners on it, and I bought it for my, for my 41st birthday, the one where I aged 21 years <laughs> and 12 months, um, and it has spinners, and my whole new thing is, when someone asks me to do something now, I spin my ring three times before I answer, and it's my boundary ring, and what I say to myself when I'm spinning it is very simple, and it's choose discomfort over resentment. Renee, can you bring five dozen cookies to school tomorrow? <laughs> nope. <laughs> what happens when we say, sure, I'll, I'll be glad to bring the cookies up to the school. Like, if you know me, I'm looking at a friend that, you, I, one of my fellow PTO people, you know I'll go right into my very high voice. Sure, I would love to. Peanut free, right? Um, and then what happens is you're home in your kitchen, and your kids want you to be kind and gentle with them, but you're like this. I hate these people. I hate these kids. I hope they choke on my cookie, you know? So how do we do things without resentment, you know? And it takes boundaries. So in the end, I think if we take away anything from the authenticity piece, it is about the courage to be imperfect, to be vulnerable, and to set boundaries. Because the whole idea of I am enough starts with enough. Steve and I, for a long time, had a list of everything we wanted, like our, our, our achievement list. Maybe a lake house. Like every other person I know, I want a bigger house with a guest room. No one will ever come. But for some reason, what, it's just like this draw, right, to have the guest room. We just had this list of things that we wanted. Well, when the wholehearted research came out, it fundamentally shifted the way we live, the way we parent, everything. And so we decided to make a list of everything that was happening in our lives when we felt really joyful. Like what, what's happening, not a want list, but like actually based on evidence, like we're the happiest when what's happening. And we looked at this list and the list was the opposite of the want list. The want list dictated to us that we needed to work more and make more money. And the joy list meant less work and more time. Here's the part where we all struggle. Worthiness does not have prerequisites. We need to find a way to engage with the world from a place of worthiness. We need to find a way to say, I'm enough. This is who I am. Because I literally believe that our lives depend on it. So thank you all very much. Woo!